When somebody lies to you, they probably have something to hide. Maybe they don't really want to tell you what they think about your haircut. Hi, Mr. Reed. Whoa, hey. Did you do something to your hair? <laughs> it's a bit extreme, isn't it? No, I mean, that's, that's a thing nowadays, right? Or maybe they're just trying to impress you. So here's the deal. How would you like to be my pretend children for one afternoon? Why don't you just tell that poor girl the truth? You know? Our mother tells us everything. Here at Primetime, we're trying to figure out why Biden keeps lying about the border. Last year, he told us it was completely under control. In April alone, Mr. President, 170,000 people, migrants, apprehended at the border. It's a 20-year record. There are 22,000 unaccompanied children in our country right now. That's a, that, that's a record. That sounds to most folks like a crisis. Well, look, it's way down now. We've now gotten control. Millions of illegals have come in since. Joe also told us he doesn't have the time to see the border for himself. Do you have plans to visit the southern border? Uh, I've been there before, and I haven't. I mean, I know it well. I guess I should go down, but the, but, but the whole point of it is I haven't had a whole hell of a lot of time to get down. Yeah, I mean, the guy spent half his presidency on vacation. If you can fly to Delaware, you could probably fly to Texas. But this administration isn't interested in fixing anything. They're counting on their pals in the press to keep ignoring the border. Then DeSantis came along and brought the border to the Democrats. They couldn't pretend everything was okay. But they didn't want to tell the truth either. And they definitely don't want to call Ron and figure out a fix. Has the president reached out to any of these governors? So here's the thing, and I was asked this question earlier today. I don't know why we would reach out mm -hmm. to a governor or governors who are clearly playing a political game, right? It is something that they're doing not to find a solution, but to literally literally put people's lives at risk. Martha's Vineyard is the safest place on earth. There hasn't been a murder there since Ted Kennedy drowned a woman in his car. How are their lives at risk exactly? Someone gets hit in the head when Obama slices a drive? Alan Dershowitz talks their ear off at the Chillmark store? Maybe they're at risk from getting diabetes from all the Ben and Jerry's. I don't know. I mean, the only real crime you have to worry about in the vineyard is identity theft. And the illegals don't even have social security numbers. The sheriff who's investigating DeSantis for giving illegals a free vacation can't even tell you what law he broke. The sheriff is just hangry that the governor flew his cooks and waiters away. If you go to any restaurant in San Antonio, Texas right now, you're going to wait a long time to get your table, even though there's empty tables because there's not enough wait staff to wait on you. They're, you're going to wait a long time for your food because there's not enough people to, to cook it in the back. Half the cooks maybe aren't, aren't showing up to work or they've quit. Hire these folks. The sheriff wants to arrest DeSantis for kidnapping the guys who were supposed to cook his enchiladas. <laughs> the sheriff isn't interested in arresting sex traffickers. No, he's hungry and he needs to eat. And someone's going to go to jail if his dinner isn't ready soon. But here's where it gets interesting. The illegals who DeSantis flew to the vineyard are suing him. Let that sink in. Illegal immigrants are suing a sitting U.S. governor. They broke into our country, and the first thing they do is sue a Republican. <laughs> Give us your tired, your poor, and your litigious. Of course, this wasn't the migrants' idea. I mean, they're new to the country. They don't know how easy it is to sue a leading Republican presidential candidate. The migrants hired a lawyer. Actually, maybe they will fit in here. A group called Lawyers for Civil Rights is going to represent the migrants. Soros' money is involved, obviously, and they're suing Ron DeSantis. We did not look for this fight. We were thrust into this by Governor DeSantis and the state of Florida. It is our legal and moral responsibility to act. Lawyer DeSantis. The lawsuit's hilarious. We read it right here. The suit alleges both Yene and Jesus Doe, quote, felt anxious and confused as a result, suffered from a lack of sleep and vertigo. Yannette and Jesus are from a Venezuelan slum. They spent months crawling through jungles of Central America and the deserts of Mexico to get here. But it wasn't until they were well fed and put on an air conditioned flight to Martha's Vineyard that they really started to suffer. Joe Biden makes me anxious and confused. Can I sue him? 
Sometimes after listening to Kamala talk, I can't sleep at night. Should I call a lawyer? What is vertigo anyway? Is vertigo like how Pauly P felt after he crashed his Porsche and couldn't stand up? The migrants are dizzy? You can sue someone for being dizzy after a flight? Can I break into Canada and sue Trudeau because his blackface confused me? What about all the Texas Rangers who chase cartel members all over their sector? Shouldn't they be getting any money? No, but get this, you ready? The Doe defendants provided items such as $10 McDonald's gift certificates to class members suffering from chronic food insecurity. So feeding the homeless is a crime if you're a Republican. What if a migrant had a Big Mac attack? Ron can't give him a gift card. Is suffering from chronic food insecurity the same thing as being hungry? Because I suffer chronic food insecurity every day between lunch and dinner. That's how you know the lawsuit's bogus. But they actually may have a case here because there aren't any McDonald's on the vineyard. But I'm sure they probably could use it at the Massachusetts military base where they are now. The suit also alleges that Pablo Jesus and Yannette, quote, suffered emotional and economic harm, an irreparable harm to their dignity and autonomy. Economic harm? They don't have any money. How do you take money away from somebody that doesn't have any money? DeSantis put him up in a hotel for five days. Did he stick him with the room service bill? Is Ron going to charge him for the macadamia nuts in the minibar? Because actually those are expensive. DeSantis harmed their dignity. What did he do? Teach them critical race theory? Confuse them about their gender? And of course, the liberal lawyers say one of the biggest crimes is that no one in Martha's Vineyard knew the migrants were coming. Quote, immigrants are transported to a distant community purposely without advance notice. You know who else didn't get advance notice the migrants were coming? Texas. Did the coyotes call ahead and tell Texas they're dropping off 50 Venezuelans by the Rio Grande? Be ready with food and shelter. <laughs> and when Biden secretly flies into the middle of nowhere in the dark of night, he doesn't call ahead. He doesn't tell anybody. Why aren't the lawyers suing the president? Texas and Florida are supposed to be where the science deniers are. Shouldn't they thank DeSantis for sending the migrants somewhere civilized? DeSantis gave them hotel rooms, flights, food, gift cards, pamphlets on where to find help in the vineyard. They were lost, hungry and alone, hot, sweaty and homeless, sleeping in tents under a bridge. You know what they should be saying to DeSantis? Gracias. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.